Welcome to learn and practice video tutorials. This is the seventh video in the database series, it covers queries sorting, hiding fields wildcards criteria, copying queries, and, or operators and the null value. Disclaimer. This video is aimed at CAT learners who need to keep up with school work during COVID-19 crisis. It is not as polished as I would like it to be, nor is the sound great, perhaps if it is found to be useful I will improve it in the future. Tips for using. Do it with the video, pause when you need to, slow it down or speed it up with the playback speed. See tips for using videos for lessons.mp4. Query is similar to a filter, but saved so that you can rerun it again and again without having to reset it up. They can be based on a table, or multiple tables or even other queries. We will work through a series of questions to learn the different facets of queries. First example. Create a query named surname order, using the rugby table which has the following fields, name, surname, and position, in surname order. Click Create. Click Query Design. First we select the tables you want the query to be based on. A query can also be based on another query too. Click Rugby. You might not see the property sheet. Just ignore it we will not be using it. Click Add. Once the tables and queries have been added click OK. To add a field to a query, Double click it. Double click surname. Double click position. Click sort. Click the down arrow button. Click ascending, this is alphabetical A to Z. To see the results of the query we can click data sheet view. Here we can see the list is in surname order. Let's go back to design view. This is a select query. It is the same as a filter. So to see the results of the query we can run it, or go to data sheet view to see the results of the query. There are other types of queries, like append, which means add to the end, or delete queries which do something to the database, with those the database view will show you the results without performing the action, but run does the action. We have forgotten to save. We were told in the question to save it as surname order. It is important to follow instructions. There is often a mark for saving it with the correct name. Click save. Type surname order. Click OK. Click data sheet view. Just like with the table we can make some formatting changes to the data sheet view. Click and drag the column heading border to make it wider or smaller. You do not have to select the rows in order to make them wider, but they all have to be the same height. Just click and drag the border of the gray square at the beginning of the record. Click the queries X button to close it. We made changes to the layout. So click yes. In the surname query you learned how to create a query using design view, how to start off by adding tables, how to add fields, to sort by a field, and then view the results, format the query in data sheet view and finally how to save the query. Good work. Create a query based on player stats table. Show the surname and first name fields for those players who played against Australia. Call it Australia. Click Create. Click Query Design. Ensure that the player stats table has been selected. If not click it. Then click Add. Click Close. Add the fields required by double clicking them. First surname. Then first name. And although we not ask to show the against field in order to filter the records we do need that field. So double click against to add it. We use the criteria row to filter the records. According to Oxford, criteria, 
means a principle or standard by which something may be judged or decided. In other word criteria says which records do we want to display in our query. Click in the criteria row under the against field. We only want to see those players who played against Australia. So type Australia. Click data sheet view. We can see the surname, first name, and against fields. We can check that it is showing us only the matches played against Australia. Go back to design view. To hide a field, not display it in the query, you remove the tick under the field in the show row. Click the box under against in the show row. Click data sheet view to check the results. Click design view. Click save. Type Australia. Click the Query X button to close the query. In the Australia query you learned what the purpose of the criteria row was, inserted a simple text criteria and, how to hide a field. Great job! Create a query called Surname D which will display the name Surname and birthday for those with surname that starts with D. Let's create the next query. Click Create. Click Query Design. Add the Rugby table. Click Add. Once we have all the tables we need we can click Close. Double click Name to add the field to the query. We have all the fields stated in the question. Click in the criteria row under Surname. When it states start with D, it means it has a D followed by other characters. A wild card, like the Joker. Or the wild card in Uno, stands in for any other card. In Access there are two wild card characters. The first one is the asterisk, which represents many characters, and the other one is the question mark which stands for a single character. But when we use a wild card character we also need the word like to precede it. So type like D asterisk. Access inserts the quotation marks. Click data sheet view to see the results. See only surnames that start with D. Click save. Type surname D. Click OK. In the surname D query you learned about the wildcard characters, the fact that you must use the word like when using wildcards, and how to get only the records where the surname starts with D. Well done. Create a query called weight which shows the name and surname, weight greater than or equal to 100 kilograms. Click create. Click rugby. Click add. Click close. Double click name. Double click surname. Click and drag to find the weight field. Double click weight. Click in the criteria under the weight field. Type greater than 100. This is strictly greater than 100. Click data sheet view. But the question did ask for greater than or equal to, so click design view. Type equals between the greater than sign and the 100. Click data sheet view. Click design view. Click save. Type weight. Click OK. Close the query. In the weight query you used the comparison operators in the criteria. Remember that you can use either greater than or greater than and equal to, but that the number must change by 1. And hopefully you realize that less than and less than and equal to can be used in the same way. Good work. The next query is an extension of the weight one. Create a query called big players which shows the name and surname, weight, and height for all those who are either greater than or equal to 100 kilograms or have a height of more than 1,80 m. Under the create tab, 
click query design. Once again add the rugby table. Click add. Click close. Double click name. And surname. Click and drag. Double click weight. And height. Click in the criteria for weight. Type greater than, equals 100, just like the last query. If we have a look at the question, we have the fields, and the criteria for weight of greater than 100. The last part is the or a height of more than 1,8. Now the or means that it either has to be greater than 100 or it is greater than 1,8 it does not need to be both. In order to do this we can the or row. Click in the or. Row under height. Type 1 comma 8. Click data sheet view. So here we can see that Eli Roo weights under 100, but his height is greater than 1 comma 8. Click save. Type big players. Click OK. In the big players query you learned that the criteria can be one thing or another, by using the or row. Keep going. Create a query based on the player stats table which shows all the player's surname and first name, who played in a match against Argentina and scored a try. Call it Argentina. So this is the extension of the Australia query. The end means that the player must have played the match and have scored at least one try. Because it is based on Australia we can simply copy Australia and make the relevant changes. Click Australia. Right click Australia. Click copy. Right click anywhere in the objects pane. Click paste. Type Argentina. Click OK. Double click Argentina to open the table. Click design view. Double click try. When there are criteria under more than one field, and they are all in the criteria row, it means those all have to be true, in order for the record to show. They are an add together. Click under try in the criteria row. We do not want a zero in the try field, so anything above zero. Type greater than zero. Click data sheet view. It is a good idea to always check the data before hiding fields. Is the data correct? No we forgot to change Australia to Argentina. Click design view. Click and drag to select Australia then. Type Argentina. If Australia is selected it will be deleted as you start typing. If you left the opening quote you need to type the closing quote. Ah that's better. Now let's hide those fields. Click design view. Take the ticks off try and against. One last check. Click save. The dialog pane will not appear as we have already named this query. So we just have to save it. Then click the X button to close the query. In the Argentina query you learned how to create a new query based on another one, so how to copy it. You also learned about the AND operator, and making sure two conditions are met at the same time, using the criteria row for both. You a superstar. Create a query based on the player stats table, which shows all players who do not have stats for penalties. Call it no stats. This does not mean zero penalties, it means the field is empty. If the field is empty we say it is null. We use is, not equal to. Let's create another query. Still using design query. Ensure player stats is selected and click add. Click close. Click and drag surname. This is an alternative way of adding fields. Click and drag first name. Click and drag down TP find pen. Click and drag pen. Let's go have a look. Click data sheet view. Zero and empty values. But we can't see which matches.
To change a field click the down arrow button. Another way to add a field is to click in the empty column. Click down arrow. And simply click on the field you want. Now to add the criteria. Type null. Click data sheet view. There are no values, only empty penalty records. Notice access inserted the is. Click save. Type no stats. Click OK. In the no stats query we learned how to add a field by drag it to the grid, or we can use the down arrow in the field row, we can also change a field by using the down arrow. We found out that if the field is empty we say it has a null value and we can test if it is null. We also found out we need to use is, not equal to. Well done. Create a query based on the rugby table, call it question, to answer the question are there any players with the birthday of 19 October 1991. Click create. Click design query. Click rugby, and then click add. Click close. Double click name. Double click surname. Double click birthday. Let's look at this. Click data sheet view. Click design view. Type 19 Oct 1991. Click data sheet view. Click design view. Notice how access has changed our data, and that it denotes the data between hash signs. Not quotes. Quotes could mean text. Click save. Type question. Click OK. In the question query we found out how to use a date as a criteria. We learned that access will convert the date to a certain format with hashes, not quotes. Well done you have completed the video. Go and do queries too now. You need to do the tasks, and past paper questions. The more examples you can do the better, as each one will present a different problem. If you have found this video helpful please like it and subscribe to my channel. Or leave a positive comment in Google Classroom, smiley face.